the Lord and the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 612. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness, rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. You see, I think that without this enmity that God has put in us, we absolutely hate God. Did you hear me? Hate. That's who you are in your natural flesh without the supernatural enmity that God has put in you. We must have this armor. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girded about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You know, we got to think like a warrior even though we're called to farm. You hear me? Because I would rather, in time of war, be with a man who's a warrior that's trying to farm than a farmer who's trying to be a warrior. You follow me? This is the battle that we're under. Above all, taking the shield of faith, verse 16, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. What does this sound like? Does this sound like a selfless person? Sounds to me like this person is pouring themselves out in prayer, in preparation for a battle, right? Does this sound like Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane? You think he was, he was, he was like this? What did he say to his disciples? Just stay with me for a little bit. Pray, pray that ye enter not into temptation. What happened to all of them? What did Jesus say? What did he say? He said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. How long has it been that you grabbed a hold of the spirit and flew like, a, like an eagle instead of sleeping with the bear? <laughs> Verse 19, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds. Do you hear that? In bonds. Why is he in bonds? That therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Brothers and sisters, we need to put on the whole armor of God. We have to have the mind of Christ. And we don't get that easily. It is the hardest battle you will ever fight in its moment by moment, day by day. You can't live on the fact that, you know, so many Christians believe, well, I gave my heart to Jesus back in 1973. You know? So many people believe that kind of faith. And it may be true. You may have. 
This battle goes on, brothers and sisters. It goes on daily. Our closing hymn is 316. Let us have the faith of Jesus, the mind of Christ. Jesus' name.